something is rotten in many of America's forests. This should be a dark green uh, canopy and this should be very shaded underneath. And so the fact we can see so much gray and brown from the twigs, it's striking. Blame it on this guy, the southern pine beetle. And this nasty creature, the woolly adelgid. Or this little devil, the emerald ash borer. None of these pests belong in the United States. They are invasive species. Many of these pests can build up very large numbers on individual trees within a few years' time. And so the tree can't really uh, fight that off through any natural resistance. And we just don't have uh, any effective native uh, predators. But research scientists are fighting back using genetic tweaks that give the plants the ability to resist invasive pests. Breeze like the American chestnut that has been destroyed in the billions by an invasive Japanese fungus. What we're doing with transgenics is we take the original American chestnut tree and only add a couple genes. When, and therefore nothing else has changed. The only thing we're adding is genes to make it blight resistant. Adding a gene or two can turn this into this. And if it can work for the chestnut blight, researchers say it can work against all kinds of invasive pests. The general principles of genetic engineering can be applied to uh, emerald ash borer, to uh, hemlock woolly adelgid, to uh, thousand canker disease of uh, walnut, uh, sudden oak death. But it's a fight against time. Genetically modified trees grow as slowly as any other tree, and researchers will need government approval before they can replant them in the wild. Meanwhile, according to one study, the invasion of overseas pests has put almost two-thirds of U.S. woodlands at risk. Kevin Enix, VOA News, Washington.